hi guys uh, so i wanted to further uh, take the analysis done by there are uh, no forest on uh, flat earth uh, video into the depths of our oceans and i can tell you that the evidence that we have in the oceans is even more incredible guys uh, and i i found that uh, uh, the water that we see around us is just a for chemical purpose just for uh, purification of the silicon uh, element they get uh, while mining so i would uh, jump right in uh, to the deepest uh, point on earth and as we all know it's a mariana trench and it's in southeast asia in the pacific ocean and uh, this place is completely surrounded by volcano guys even uh, we know a ring of fire we will know why it is so unstable because they dug this entire pacific ocean more than even the surface of the earth that we are seeing and we have the largest number of volcanoes in this region in fact the largest volcano in the entire world is tamu massif it was actually in in hawaii mauna ki which is also closer to uh, mariana trench in pacific ocean but uh, this tamu massif is just uh, 1000 miles away from the deepest point uh, uh, in the ocean but uh, this thousand may look uh, a long distance uh, but if you consider the size of uh, tamu massif it's actually uh, the size of uh, united kingdom guys so it's so massive uh, they thought that they had many volcanoes in tamu massif and uh, but it is now recognized as a one single uh, val uh, volcano and the largest second volcano in the world mauna ki is just 2% of what this is guys so what i believe is while they were digging Mar uh, mariana trench they put the waste in here so we can go to daily mail or some of the mainstream articles so this is how uh, the waste is piled up here and uh, as we can see a giant falcon that covers uh, the same area as the whole of uk has been discovered buried deep beneath the pacific ocean so it's just 1000 miles east of they are just giving the direction and uh, will come here is the tamu massif and just near it in this range is mariana trench and here they are giving the size of it the tamu massif covers an area of about 120000 square miles an area roughly equivalent to the british isles and here uh, the largest volcano on earth is hawaii's mauna loa that covers approximately 2 thousand square miles just two percent of the size of uh, manu uh, tamu massif so as we can see uh, guys uh, the volcanoes under the ocean are even like a thousand times bigger than what we are uh, seeing on the surface so they dug and they mined more uh, in the ocean than what we are seeing on the surface so here is uh, the depth they are telling so they dug in around 10000 uh, meters around 10 kilometers uh, 6 6 around 6.8 miles so they went more deeper into the ocean that we know as ocean than they climbed mount everest guys so if we look at the uh, uh, surface of uh, mariana trench it looks like someone has run over so you can see the axis mariana trench axis so they were digging this area complete and these there are a lot of uh, volcanoes uh, around the mariana trench as well so they are calling it vol volcanic bridges across the abyss so these were the place where they dug in the mining was done and uh, if we look into the highest point mount everest is 8.9 kilometers around 4 miles and the deepest point uh, mariana trench is uh, 10 kilometers around 5 miles so if we add both it's around it comes around uh, 10 kilometers uh, sorry 18 kilometers and if you divide by half it's 9 so either they dug below uh, like uh, 10 kilometers below like 5 miles below and 5 miles above so what we can at least uh, say that uh, they dug uh, they took around uh, 10 miles of surface from planet earth so 10 miles of uh, silicon was removed uh, from earth so we'll uh, further see the extent of mining when we remove water 
uh, ocean water from the surface of earth we can see the extent of mining done uh, what we think as ocean so i think uh, it was earth was a complete crystal ball guys or earth flat earth we'll come to that later but it was completely made of crystal and this is the uh, mariana trench and all these uh, scars and all these mountains these are by the way uh, so, uh, vulc volcanic uh, uh, pits or uh, volcanic mountains and this is the extent of digging the surface of united states the boundary it's just the marker and uh, we can uh, now we can uh, go to ring of fire i believe this is the most uh, dug area by the aliens or whoever dug this place so we have the highest number of vol volcanoes in the entire world in this ring of fire it is not on the surface guys even mount st helens and everything uh, comes in ring of fire so what we saw in uh, on earth surface is just a minuscule extent to the uh, compared to the uh, scale of mining they did on planet earth so if we look into the ring of fire we can see the amount the number of volcanoes are surrounding the ring of fire and as we know pacific ocean is the deepest uh, uh, surface uh, in the uh, in the uh, entire world so pacific ocean is already dug so much and they put the waste around it so i think that uh, the water uh, surrounding uh, the surface are actually the station grounds this is the surface they stayed in and did all their research and my, uh, their office was in uh, on the surface and the water covering was where the uh, heavy mining was going on so um, we'll see in southeast asia indonesia it's completely covered the most active volcanoes are in indonesia guys so as we can see the extent of uh, volcanoes active and non active it is completely covered with volcanoes aka waste from their mining now we come to ring of fire so even it says that uh, wikipedia but we cannot trust but for statics purpose i'm just referring this sorry it has 452 volcanoes more than 75 percent of the active uh, and dormant volcanoes are in uh, ring of fire and about 90 percent of world's earthquake and 81 percent of world's largest earthquake uh, occur along the ring of fire so i think uh, they completely dug out the ring of fire area guys this was the area where they did massive mining guys so i think uh, no it was not himalayas or uh, antarctica or uh, uh, USA or Russia uh, that was just minuscule guys the most uh, mining took place uh, in ring of fire because uh, more 75 percent of uh, uh, volcanoes uh, are in ring of fire itself and 90 percent of earthquakes so I think that the earth is unstable because of extensive mining and there could have been a crack in the core of earth crystal uh, silicon crystal ball or uh, so that is the reason we are feeling uh, even now uh, earthquakes because a lot of cracks might have developed in the crystal i will uh, come to that later why earth cannot ever produce a, a carbon based life form it can only produce uh, silicon life uh, and it doesn't need water silicon don't need water because if silicon combines with the water it actually dissolves so earth don't need water to survive it's only carbon based life forms like us who need uh, water uh, to survive so ring of fire we can see uh, most of the volcanoes are in this region and uh, this region ha is also the most uh, deep so uh, i will um, come into why earth would, would not uh, uh, create a carbon life form even uh, if uh, this is mainstream article where they say why silicon based aliens would rather eat our cities than us so thoughts on non-carbon so i was thinking like if god wanted to create a human beings why uh, if he had two choice uh, like carbon and uh, ox uh, uh, silicon he would not choose carbon guys if you look into the carbon property and the uh, silicon property even you yourself if you are god you will create a beautiful uh, organism using silicon because it it is it it bonds very well with oxygen and unlike uh, carbon it is more weaker that is the reason i feel that we are always diseased and we get decayed because uh, oxygen silicon bond is more than five times uh, stronger than carbon 
oxygen bond and carbon uh, attaches itself to lots of elements but silicon only does with few elements uh, so you won't uh, like you know get get cold or something or get the all diseased uh, that uh, number one reason for disease in our body is because carbon the base element is bonding with the uh, elements that he finds everywhere but uh, silicon will not do that uh, silicon is more stronger with oxygen as well as it doesn't react with uh, chemicals around us the elements so it only re uh, reacts with only combines itself with few elements and uh, i was that thing i was uh, looking like a theory then i searched that and uh, this guy is uh, max burstein is a nasa scientist and he even he says uh, but not so much so that they can't fairly easily be easily be undone unlike silicon oxygen bonds so when carbon forms molecules containing oxygen nitrogen the carbon bonds to nitrogen are stable but not so much so that they can't be easily undone so if even if the carbon uh, combines with nitrogen oxygen they are stable but not as much as when they silicon and oxygen bonds combine so that is the reason guys it was a god did not create us i can uh, assure you because uh, i will come to that later and as we can see the earth's crust is uh, the sec uh, 90 percent of the earth crust is actually silicon guys so i don't know how uh, god or earth would even think of creating a weak and inferior take in weak and inferior carbon and create us uh, even if it if it creates us it it will heat uh, the earth will use silicon and as we know i uh, mentioned this in my last video oxygen and silicon loves each other more than carbon and oxygen uh, and we have silicon as a more second most abundant uh, element in earth but uh, this number 277 200 is uh, now guys so imagine uh, when earth was fully developed uh, with uh, silicon trees and all silicon life forms this would have been number one and uh, yeah, 1000 times more look at where carbon is it's just 300 and you even then it is thousand times more silicon is thousand times more than carbon but this is just the number we have right now guys uh, imagine uh, multiply this by 1000 uh, before the aliens came and took whoever those they were and uh, oxygen is also reduced now so atmospheric pressure is uh, reduced so when silicon and oxygen combines uh, they give life guys it's silicon dioxide but a uh, lot of other uh, things happen and that is how the crystals and quartz are formed and that is how i believe uh, uh, the giant trees were formed on earth and uh, uh, the uh, uh, silicon earth don't need water silicon don't need water to grow it only needs oxygen in fact when silicon comes in contact with water it dissolves slowly it decomposes uh, now we will as we can see over 90 percent of earth's crust is composed of uh, silicate materials making silicon the second most abundant it is actually first guys but uh, since due to mining it became second uh, now we'll go to the earth crust uh, I, I am not uh, debating here globe versus flat because i tried flat earth without water but i am getting globe i just wanted to uh, see the uh, image of earth without uh, water in it as we can see they shaved off everything guys uh, this is how and uh, uh, this is flat earth map that i got to see uh, as we can see they chipped everything away they excavated uh, nearly 40 to 50 percent of a round crystal or whatever or flat crystal but they definitely dug out lot of places this is how earth looks like according to uh, mainstream when water is not present you can see this is the shape of earth now and i i feel that uh, uh, yeah this is the digging i feel they have done it and this all the scratch marks on the surface of the ocean are actually giant mining machines working and these are their marks of when they moved here and there so uh, i as we can see the most uh, dominant and active and highest number of volcanoes are in the ocean surface so this area uh, what we are calling as land was actually not most of the act mining that was done guys it was what we now see as ocean so i feel that 70 to 80 percent of mining activity was done uh, what we now see as ocean so now i will come to the chemical composition to stress and uh, uh, say that uh, earth cannot ever produce a carbon-based life form 
it doesn't and i i will show you why carb they brought in carbon based life form to split for reaction guys so as we can see uh, this is the chemical composition i will not bore you with more equation but just to stress so displacement reaction so what happens when carbon comes in contact with silicon and i have got some idea why they brought in carbon uh, and, uh, you will read it uh, uh, just now so when silicon dioxide that is sand and uh, silica quartz reacts with carbon it gives carbon monoxide the reaction of other part. but when further purified the silicon can be used in computer chips so this is it guide they wanted silicon for computer chips or highly advanced artificial intelligence or some electronic equipment so they were they came to mine silicon for computer chips we can further analyze uh, by ocean because car ocean has uh, 38000 gigatons of carbon so they they were bringing in carbon mostly for uh, reaction with uh, silicon uh, so that they can uh, silicon dioxide so that they can get purified silicon so ocean is totally into all this uh, climate cycle ocean is nothing guys it's just by fluke the entire ocean is actually a giant uh, chemical laboratory and i will come more into it why i think so so as you can see ocean is 38000 gigatons of carbon uh, here the chemical reactions of silicon dioxide uh, and why they are using in for semiconductor conductor industry so silicon dioxide is attacked by hydrofluoric acid so when this hydrofluoric acid is uh, reacted with silicon they get purified uh, uh, sil uh, silicon SiO2 and uh, this is uh, what they are using in uh, semiconductor industry so i research what is this uh, hydrofluoric acid how is hydrofluoric acid made so that it can react with uh, silicon dioxide uh, to produce uh, silicon so if you look into hydrofluoric acid guys it needs water okay, as you can see hydrochloric acid is a solution of hydrogen fluoride in water now i wanted to search it further like how they create hydrogen fluoride now we'll be surprised guys hydrogen fluoride is created using sulfuric acid and everything else but its uh, byproduct is hydrocarbon guys so hy hydrogen and carbon now i went further we know what hydrocarbon does it's nothing but crude oil the majority of hydrocarbon found on earth is crude oil so whatever we are seeing is waste of their purification of uh, silicon dioxide which is what uh, all these crystals and quartz are made of so while extracting uh, all this uh, silicon dioxide or silicon uh, from silicon dioxide uh, they used all these chemicals and they needed lots of water and when they uh, the waste water is what i believe became oceans with the uh, sodium chloride uh, which is our table salt and there are a lot of uh, chemicals in the ocean that are not fit for planet earth actually so it is totally composed of carbon so yeah i will further go into this uh, 666 a mark of the beast and uh, we know carbon is called 666 and we know mark of the beast and bible studies because it's six carbon atoms uh, protons and six electrons so 666 carbon is itself is a uh, devil's number guys uh, carbon has six protons six neutrons and six electrons that is why they call it mark of the beast we were created by the beast guys they gave us no chance because i don't think i have researched a lot since last 2 3 days like god uh, will not uh, the the chance of uh, earth creating a carbon life form is like a human mother uh, making an elephant baby because the entire earth is completely silicon guys it's a silicon based life form how can it even think of creating something inferior even god while creating the universe it will not pick carbon if he has to choose between carbon and silicon carbon is dk guys carbon is karma it creates karma like you die you dk you you don't do things properly well you have a carbon based body you are that is people will ask uh, why uh, like so what's the point you are already created so this is very important because of this guys gemstones this is as i uh, discussed in my uh, other uh, first video this is what is the product of planet earth guys this is what the fruit of all these silicon trees is gems 
and as i discussed uh, in my first video gemstones really works guys as as anything that i have seen i have tried all the western and eastern uh, programs and techniques to improve your life i have done uh, western form of uh, you know working out going to gym swimming being confident tony robinson things you know how to talk fluently communication skills everything they tell you to become confident and be successful in life and the eastern stuff like doing mantra tantra yoga being vegan eating vegetarian food they tell you lots of things in india and in the west of going to buddhist temple no you are not doing it right go to you know, hindu temple and go to christian temple go to allah go to all the gods I never work for me guys then one guy insisted why don't you try gemstone i told what a small rock can do for me it has no scientific basis but he keep on insisting so finally i tried just last 3 weeks and it has completely transformed my life guys i have i never had a proper job or good income or good uh, happiness i had lot of insomnia issues but it like it transformed me completely it has completely changed i am really feeling changes now earlier the changes were like 5 minutes or 5 percentage but now i can really feel sorry i can really feel my life has changed for the better and as the russian uh, video russian guys video explains gemstones are the uh, gateway between uh, carbon and uh, silicon life form i really believe if you start uh, having crystals and gemstones near your life the transformation begins your body will automatically transform into a better body uh, like silicon body silicon life form so uh, in a spiritual sense and all the spirituality everything is related to uh, this gemstones and uh, crystal healing etc and also i wanted to point out that uh, there is a talk uh, online regarding the flooding was done by uh, jesus or god uh to stop these people i don't believe this uh, guys at all because why would god wait all this time when they were cutting the trees everything when why would go god send flood when they were about to finish their job that is too much convenient god should have done it before when they came to earth and uh, regarding uh, this uh, map of uh, flat earth they the flat earth folks even i believe in flat earth but i need to do lot of explaining now because water is not a should not be here water is not a basic component of silicon based life and even if antarctica covers it we know antarctica was completely mined out and the walls that uh, as uh, eric dubey says walls are like uh, protecting the water uh, as a shield but the water itself and the mountains were all silicon based life form they were all dug out so how come you know water and uh, water and that wall can protect so and uh, how come this uh, firmament uh, never uh, uh, blocked the bad guys from coming in but it somehow blocks good guys like us humanity to go out so there are a lot of questions that i am looking for guys and the and this firmament and aliens the bad guy seems to completely destroy the earth Uh, and uh, nothing happened uh, but somehow uh, the good guys can't do anything uh, so yeah guys please look into these gemstones it will really uh, help you out if you think that uh, now what is the point of uh, knowing that uh, we were a silicon based life form on earth so yeah thank you very much